I think I would have changed anything. I really thought that the whole day was seamless and, you know, I felt prepared, um, you know, when it was coming down and watching you guys work. Um, just kind of knowing how the procedure would go start to finish and seeing that, I'm, I really don't think I would have changed anything. <laughs> it was just so smooth. Five years out of GPR, so I've been practicing, yeah, about, about four and a half years or so. Um, yeah, first practice out, you know, I did quite a bit of wisdom teeth and stuff like that, but not too much surgical experience other than that. Basically, I've only had experience planning ones and twos implants, you know, so it's a little bit easier to assess the bone. Um, getting a case of this magnitude was quite a bit more of a challenge to, um, you know, to get planning. And so it's so nice having the guidance to, um, you know, just, you know, really calm me down, you know, when I was worried about, are we going to have enough bone for this? Are we going to have enough bone for that? Are we going to have, you know, the angulation that we need? Um, and so, yeah, it was just super helpful having your, your guidance on the side to, you know, help make things less stressful. The implant ordering, I mean, that's another one of those, you know, large magnitude things that you don't know what you're getting into until you're in it. And so, again, knowing the parts that you need, knowing, you know, kind of troubleshooting tips, like you mentioned with the MUAs, having, you know, 2.5 so you can see them better, I wouldn't have known that. So that would have cost so much time in the back end. Um, and so, yeah, just the little tips and tricks that you guys have, you know, paved the way to, to find just made things so much simpler and, you know, streamlined everything for us. And so, yeah, all of those things <laughs> that you mentioned would have been, you know, things that would have scared me the day of surgery if I was by myself. Um, especially like you mentioned with the, you know, the bone fracturing while we were torquing that in, that would have been something I probably would have backed the implant out and just crafted everything and just been really, really cautious and scared. So knowing that that was the possibility that, you know, we can make it through this safely, I mean, that speaks volumes, you know, it, it means so much. Um, yeah, with the torquing levels and just knowing, you know, what, um, what things that worked for you guys, you know, uh, in the past and what hasn't, um, again, just saves so much time in the back end. For this case, yeah, we did five implants up top, five implants on the bottom. Um, and yeah, it really just was site specific, you know, as far as the bone was concerned. We, you know, flapped everything, opened it up, um, reduced the bone to the level that it needed, and then we assessed the sites to see which, um, you know, where the implants would go the best. Yeah, in the past, I've always been kind of a solo practitioner. I might not even use an assistant for anything. And so, yeah, working through that, you know, and kind of giving up that habit was a little difficult, but I can see how big of a difference that's going to make in the future, um, just as, you know, as far as streamlining things and, you know, making my life easier. Um, first off, you're, I mean, your team is a bunch of rock stars. <laughs> like, they're fantastic. And having them share their expertise with our assistants and, you know, really training them up was just so huge. <laughs> I can't wait to see them succeed. You can tell that, like, the team is just so well trained and, um, you know, really good at directing and making, you know, the flow of things easy. So even seeing it out of the box, I could tell that it was high quality. I mean, it just looks beautiful, you know, even in your hands before it even gets seated with the patient. Um, you know, seeing like the housing units where the screws are going to go, like we had to make minor adjustments, you know, as far as, you know, just a little bit of polishing. Um, but every single person in the room was like, wow, that looks so nice. And even for a temporary, I mean, it's, it's gorgeous. Um, the patient commented afterwards as I was walking him up to the front, he's like, this thing feels sturdy. <laughs> like, he's like, this feels strong. I was like, don't let that fool you. You know, we still got to take it easy and, you know, really follow those directions. Don't, don't run a marathon with it at first. Wow. Wow. How do you like it? Yeah, it looks great. How do you think it would to Hollywood? I don't think I would have changed anything. I really thought that the whole day was seamless and, you know, I felt prepared, um, you know, when it was coming down and watching you guys work. Um, just kind of knowing how the procedure would go start to finish and seeing that, I'm, I really don't think I would have changed anything. It was just so smooth.